Hey guys, you're tuning in to HowToPlayStock.com. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the uh, hardware Tracer wallet. Um, this is a device that you can use to store all your cryptocurrencies offline. Uh, the reason for this is to protect you so that hackers can get to it. Um, and also, if you have cryptocurrencies online, uh, say through an online wallet, the downfall to that is that the company who designed the website for those online wallets is the one that controls your cryptocurrencies, okay? So in order for you to have more control over your cryptocurrencies and storing those and making sure that they're safe so that nothing happens to them, you can store them on uh, offline hardware wallets such as uh, Tracer. Now what I'm going to show you today is uh, the Tracer hardware wallet. Um, I just purchased this myself so I'm going through the setup on it right now and I'm going to take you through on that. Uh, so, just getting started, I'm going to move the camera down here so you can see it. It's a uh, device that plugs in and acts. The, the thing is, when you plug this in, you want to make sure you plug it in where your uh, mouse would go. So, on some laptops, there's multiple USB, uh, multiple USB devices. So, you want to make sure when you plug it in, you're plugging it in to the USB that your <clears throat> your mouse would go into or some other device okay um, now that I've got that set up I'll take you in here on the, uh, the the laptop and I'll show you how this works okay so keep watching stay tuned and we'll take you in on the uh, setup here on my laptop okay so we're uh, installing the firmware right now to my uh, Tracer wallet when you plug it in, the Tracer wallet itself is going to turn on. It'll light up, and it'll say, Welcome, uh, please wait. You want to go to Tracer.io uh, forward slash start. Okay, and you'll, you'll type that in here on your browser. It's going to uh, bring you to this page. It'll say, Connect Tracer uh, to continue. So once you connect it in and the lights turn on, it's going to bring you to the screen here. It's going to say time to install firmware. So you want to install the firmware. We'll just say yes to install. Okay, so uh, it says update was successful. It's telling me on my Tracer hardware device, uh, new firmware successfully installed. You may now unplug your Tracer. So I'm going to have to unplug this and then reconnect. So we're going to unplug it from the computer. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect this. Let's see what this does here. And there you go. The device is undergoing additional setups. Um, let's see here. We can label this. So I'll just call it... Uh, call it... Uh, Casey's Vault. Okay, so now it's going to ask you to enter your new PIN. I'm going to go ahead and set that up. I'm not going to record it right now. So I'll come back to this video after I'm done setting up the PIN for you. Um, I went ahead and set up my PIN. And it, it told me how to set that up according to the number pattern that was laid out on the device itself. <clears throat> And uh, so there's a specific number pattern on the device, and you want to set up your own PIN number, which consists of, oh, let's see here, five, eight numbers or eight digits. You'll uh, confirm that twice uh, online here. And once that's done, it's going to ask you uh, for recovery seed setup. So on your Tracer, you will now see a unique combination of 24 words, like it's reading here. Uh, which will allow you to recover your accounts in case you lose your device. The order of the words is very important, so please write down all these words carefully. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that's what I'm going to do next, and I'm going to stop the video now, and we'll come back to this when I'm done. All right, guys. So I went ahead and finished the uh, setup here. Uh, I'm in my account right now. The cool thing about this, you're looking at it, uh, but you wouldn't be able to. Uh, get into this account 
even if you're the best hacker in the world. <laughs> uh, it, it's protected by an eight-digit pin. Uh, the uh, layout of numbers for that pin uh, is, is configured in like a lock key type formation. Um, so it's just, it's laid out in a grid, basically. And those numbers change uh, randomly. Uh, in the position that they're they're in on that grid. So you may have like a grid that says one, two, three on the first row, uh, four, five, six on the second, and then seven, eight, nine on the third row, right? Well, those numbers can be randomly placed on that grid. So instead of it saying one, two, three, you may have numbers that say four, um, five, nine, and then on the second row, it may say like three, six, eight, you know, and so on. So you have to you have to be able to basically decipher that, okay? Um, and that's while the wallet is plugged in, you would have to be able to get to that, which is damn near impossible. Um, and then on top of that, there's a uh, 24 word uh, seed. So if I ever lose this wallet, uh, for whatever reason, I can get back into it and access it at a later date, um, just giving the, the seed, the reseed of the, the 24 words that my device gave me, uh, which is pretty cool. So there you have it. Um, now what I have to do basically is just add accounts, but that's how you set it up. Okay, so now I'm in the application settings. Uh, which is pretty cool because this wallet, the Tracer wallet, accepts Bitcoin, Dash, uh, Litecoin, and Zcash. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so if you are investing in any of these uh, cryptocurrencies, that's what Tracer accepts at the current moment. Um, I don't know because I'm new to this uh, Tracer wallet. So if anybody is watching this right now, uh, go ahead and let me know if, if you know the answer to this, but, um, you know, there's probably, I would say, software updates that are ran on this hardware uh, whenever they make uh, upgrades to it, and I've heard from other people who shot videos on this that you can actually plug your device in and go get those uh, firmware updates, um, so I'm wondering if maybe uh, at later dates the currency on the back end is updated. Um, so for, you know, people who want to invest in, uh, say Ethereum, for instance, they'll be able to move Ethereum, uh, over to the wallet as well. I don't know if that's something that they're working on. If anybody knows, go ahead and leave, you know, your comments in the description below in this video, uh, so that we can all know what they might be doing with, uh, firmware, firmware updates, uh, moving, moving on in the future here. But I just wanted to show that. Um, other than that, that's the Tracer wallet for you. If you guys found this uh, information beneficial as far as setting it up, um, go ahead and hit the like button and share this with others. Um, other than that, you guys have a great day. And uh, you're tuning in to howtoplaystock.com. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. And uh, remember, guys, income is the outcome, okay? I'll talk to you later.